Hey, welcome again to NBA Stars Channel. We know that basketball legend Shaquille O'Neal is one of the most successful and recognizable athletes in the world. Shaq is one of the most iconic and one of the best center players of all time in the NBA. He is also one of the most interesting and complex personalities in the sport. He is also a successful businessman, rapper, and actor. Shaq's story is one of struggle, determination, and ultimately, success. He is an inspiration to anyone who has ever dreamed of achieving their goals. From his days as a lanky teenager to his years as a dominating center in the NBA, Shaquille O'Neal's life has been an eventful one. Shaq's journey is one of hard work and determination, one that is sure to inspire anyone who hears it. Whether you're a fan of Shaquille O'Neal or not, this video is a must-watch. It's an inspiring story of struggle and success, one that will motivate you to chase your dreams. In this video, we get an intimate look at Shaq's life, on and off the court. From his humble beginnings in Newark, New Jersey, to his rise to superstardom in the NBA, Shaq has always has been a larger-than-life figure. But what many people don't know is the story of his struggles and failures. This video shows us that Shaq's success was not simply given to him, it was something that he fought for, and something that he continues to fight for. This is a must-watch for any basketball fan, or anyone who needs a little motivation and inspiration in their life. Childhood and Early Career Shaquille Rashan O'Neal was born on the sixth day of March 1972 in Newark, New Jersey, the United States, to his mother, Lucille O'Neal, and father, Joe Tony, a former American basketball player. When O'Neal was in infancy, his father, Tony, who was an addict, was convicted and sent to prison for drug possession. After serving time, he gave up his parental rights and responsibility to O'Neal's stepfather, Philip Harrison, who died in 2013. Subsequently, Tony made an appearance on The Ricky Lake Show, trying to re-establish a relationship with his son, whom he had not spoken with for decades. O'Neal, who had zero interest in establishing a relationship in 1994 went on to record a song, Biological Didn't Bother, and dismissed his biological father with a punchline, Phil is my father. Eventually, in March 2016, he met with his father, saying, I don't hate you. I had a good life. I had Phil. O'Neal graduated from Robert G. Cole High School in San Antonio, Texas and went on to study business at Louisiana State University, where he earned the College Player of the Year Award in 1991. He dropped out of LSU in 1992 to pursue a career in the NBA. However, when he became a professional basketball player, he continued his education and was later inducted into the LSU Hall of Fame. Professional career, O'Neal made the first overall pick by the Orlando Magic during the 1992 NBA Draft. Within the first week of his debut, he was named Player of the Week, which made him the first player ever to be awarded the title within one week. He went on to make an average of 23.4 points on a 56.2% shooting with 13.9 rebounds including 3.5 blocks in a game during his first season of play. In 1993, his insane skills and overall performance ultimately earned him the NBA Rookie of the Year award. He played from 1992 to 1996 in Orlando Magic. He was selected to play for the United States Olympic basketball team in the 1996 Olympics, held in Atlanta, Georgia. He played brilliantly, leading his team to win the gold medal. That year, O'Neal was signed for $88.5 million in a three-year contract by the Los Angeles Lakers. He played for the Lakers from 1996 to 2004. O'Neal helped the team earn three consecutive championships in the years 2000, 2001, 2002 and appeared in the 2004 NBA Finals. Due to several disagreements with his teammate Kobe Bryant, in 2004, O'Neal was later traded to the Miami Heat and played from 2004 to 2008. In 2006, Shaq recorded his fourth NBA championship win with his team, Miami Heat. During his years in the Miami Heat, Shaq was widely considered the best center and player in the league. In February 2008, the Phoenix Suns signed O'Neal from the Miami Heat. The Phoenix Suns are the third NBA team Shaq played for. In his debut game in the same month against his previous team, Los Angeles Lakers, they lost the game. He soon took the blame for his team losing the game, stating that he was not in tune with his teammates. However, he preferred playing for the Suns order than the Heat. In 2009, he emerged as co-MVP along with his former teammate Kobe Bryant in the All-Star Game. O'Neal left the Phoenix Suns and joined the Cleveland Cavaliers on 25 June 2009. He played for the Cavaliers in the 2009-2010 season. At this point, O'Neal's career was at all-time lows and giving to the fact that he sustained injuries that made him take on lesser roles. On August 4, 2010, the Boston Celtics signed O'Neal for $2.8 million for just two years. This contract value was the lowest offer Shaq had ever received throughout his career. Interestingly, as a kid, Shaquille was never a fan of the Celtics. After playing for a period of 19 years, he took to his Twitter handle to announce that he's retiring, with a video and a hashtag Shaq retires. Personal life, 
O'Neill married Shawnee Nelson on December 26, 2002. The couple has four children, Sharif, Amira, Shakir, and Miara. In 2007, O'Neill filed for divorce from Shawnee in a Miami-Dade circuit court. Shawnee later said that the couple had gotten back together and that the divorce was withdrawn. However, in 2009, Shawnee filed an intent to divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. In summer 2010, he began dating reality TV star Nicole Hoops Alexander. The couple resided at O'Neill's home in Sudbury, Massachusetts, and later split in August 2012. Shaq began dating Leticia Roll, a model, originally from Gardner, Massachusetts, in early 2014. They later split in March 2018. In 2016, O'Neill purchased a 14.3-acre, two-house compound in McDonough, Georgia for $1.15 million. Shaq has collection over 30 cars some of them are Mercedes-Benz S550 sedan, Superman Range Rover, Lamborghini Gallardo, Rolls-Royce Phantom etc. As of November 2022, Shaquille O'Neal's net worth is roughly $400 million, making him one of the richest athletes in the world. Legal controversies During the 2000 Screen Actors Guild strike, O'Neal performed in a commercial for Disney. O'Neal was fined by the union for crossing the picket line. In August 2010, O'Neal was sued by his personal IT technician, Sean Darling, after O'Neal had allegedly attempted to plant child pornography on Darling's computer. Darling claimed that O'Neal had originally tried to protect himself by hacking his mistress's voicemails and deleting relevant messages. Throughout the trial, Darling failed to submit adequate evidence to back up his claims. In 2021, the litigation ended with a court ruling that O'Neal was entitled to $412,914.50 in legal fees. In April 2014, O'Neal posted a photo on Instagram that showed himself mocking Jamel Binion who suffers from ectodermal dysplasia. He also received media flack for mocking Chinese people when interviewed about newcomer center Yao Ming. Entertainment and other career, Shaq's music career started in 1992 when he began composing rap music. In 1993, he released his first album titled, Shaq Diesel. Some of the hit tracks from Shaq Diesel includes, Shoot Pass Slam, I'm Outstanding, Let Me In, Let Me In. This album was a huge success. Shaquille O'Neal kicked off his acting career with a basketball drama, Blue Chips, which was released in 1994. He also starred in other movies like Steel 1997, The Wash 2001, The House Bunny 2008, Grown Ups 2 2013, and Blended 2014. He starred in a reality show called Shaq vs. which premiered on August 2009, on ABC. The show featured O'Neal competing against other athletes at their own sports. O'Neal has made numerous appearances in television commercials, including several Pepsi commercials. Other companies and products for which he has appeared in commercials include Reebok, Nestle Crunch, Gold Bond, Buick, The General, Papa John's, Hulu, Epson, and Icy Hot, among others. O'Neal began training in mixed martial arts in 2000. At the gym, he used the nickname Diesel. In 1994, O'Neal made several appearances in World Championship Wrestling, where he presented the title belt to the winner of the WCW World Heavyweight Championship match between Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair. In April 2016, he participated in his first ever match, when he was a surprise celebrity entry in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal at WrestleMania 32. In 2021, an episode of AEW Dynamite titled The Crossroads, O'Neal teamed with Jade Cargill to defeat Cody Rhodes and Red Velvet. Shaq maintained a high level of interest in the workings of police departments and became personally involved in law enforcement. O'Neal went through the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Reserve Academy and became a reserve officer with the Los Angeles Port Police. On January 20, 2015, O'Neal was sworn in as a reserve officer for Doral, Florida's police force. He holds the county record of tallest sheriff's deputy. In October 2022, O'Neal signed a long-term contract extension with Warner Brothers. Discovery Sports to continue as a host on Inside the NBA. So this is the life story of NBA legend and multi-talented Shaquille O'Neal. He once said, I never worry about the problem, I worry about the solution. So guys, our life has many problems, but we should know how to find solutions. So work hard and enjoy every moment of life. With this we end our video, thank you for giving love and support. So please like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel NBA Stars.